wondering what I look like, that's because I've just woken up. Um, welcome to a weekly vlog. I decided to um, film because this is like my like, um, god I look rough. This is actually my um, kind of hat, like last week at uni, like I have this week. And then I have um, like, god it's really early. <laughs> I have this week and then I have um, till Wednesday the next week because my exam is on the Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, my exam's on the Tuesday and then I'm being picked up on the Wednesday so I'm literally going to have to pack everything up then and move out. Which is quite sad because I really am going to miss my room and stuff. I'm going to miss the kitchen in here, it's an absolute state with the bin bags down there, but this is here. Okay, so I've basically been back at uni for like a week. Um, yeah, I got back Sunday um, night and then I've been here the whole week and um, I'll insert some footage of um, basically when was it? Tuesday? Either Monday or Tuesday. And I came back, had lunch and stuff, and then um, I heard people going like, oh, it stinks outside. So I went into a hallway and the smell smelled like a dead person. Like, it literally smelled like someone died. It was just feces on the floor. Um, so me and Ed went and got bleach and stuff and then it ended up smelling more and it was just an absolute mess but it was so funny um, and then we thought we were going to die from the fumes of the bleach <laughs> but um this weekend I've basically done um I've had a stressful weekend and I've literally done three essays Ooh. yeah so I've done all of that I've done my notes for my revision so I'm going to do revision today um my plan for all this week is wake up at 7:30 start doing um, revision from 8 till 12, then 12 till 1, have a break, 1 till 4, do revision, then have a break from 4 till 6 to have dinner, and then 6 till 9, I'm going to work on my group report, because the only things I have left are my exam, my group report, and my individual report. And my individual report I'm not doing till after my exam, so when I'm back home in Bristol I'm going to do that, because that's not due till the 28th. Um, I could get it done now, but I'd rather focus on revision because um, obviously my exam's in a week and a half. So I'm going to try and focus on that. But I'm very glad I've got everything out of the way because um, my observing essay is due to. Right, if you've watched my last, was it my last video? Yeah, like my weekly vlog. I basically said how I had fucked up on my. Um, theorising essay and how I'd lose a couple of marks because I'd done the bibliography role um, and didn't realise till I had submitted it. Ended up getting a first, didn't I? Just so smart, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I find theorising, like the topic that we were doing, um, really easy, like I enjoyed all of that stuff. So it was quite, I found the top, like the essay questions quite easy. Um, I only done, I like literally done it all in like a week, like the reading, which is quite a short time for me because I um like to spend a long time, but I had a different essay question and I was doing that one wrong, so I changed to this one. So I just explained all of my um, revision techniques and it wasn't filming. Um, but yeah, so I was, I was basically saying like, this is my first university exam, so I don't actually know like how to do it. <laughs> like A-levels were so much easier because you just knew that everything that you needed to know was in that one textbook. Like, it was a large amount to learn, but it was kind of, like, easy, you know what? Not easy, because it looks with stress. But, um, so I'm just doing the same 
like technique that I've done for that but you have to like find your own information like do your own reading and with that it means like I've kind of done it wrong because I kind of just went <laughs> whereas I should have looked at the lecture slides and all the topics on the lectures and then done the reading based off of that but this is how I revised A levels so what I do is I find all the information and put it into my own words um so ignore the handwriting it's a bit messy but like for food um we we have um three questions in section A and four questions in section B however um you don't ha you answer one in A and one in B, so in A I'm only revising um, one of the topics, which is food, and for section B I'm revising two of the topics, which doesn't seem like a lot, but like I don't actually know what I meant to know. So um, but yeah, so for food, like I just basically do this, and so this is food number one, and then we go on to so this is from the lecture slides. Then we have from one of the um, books that I read called Secret Ingredients, and then we have African American cookbooks. So basically, this is about like race um, in food. Then we have about um, oh, I'm not sure. we have about class in, in it, and then gender, and it just goes on like that. And back. So I'm just gonna like through food today I think because then I've also got emotions which I haven't done um I've only wrote up the um lecture slides I haven't done the rest of the writing like onto paper but I'll do that like when I get to revising emotions and then I've got risk which I haven't done much reading for risk but I kind of know the general what it is because I um have done it in like two of my essays before so that will be um kind of all right hopefully so i've literally just got the lecture slides the article and that's it really so hopefully that should be fine but either emotion or like a risk and emotion will come up so whichever one i feel like an answer so I literally haven't filmed anything all day like mainly because like after I had lunch I've just been like writing notes and honestly I've never been so drained <laughs> so I've had tea and like I still just feel so drained um I still got one more like one to write up but my my hand because I've been writing so much like um here my vein like um there was like a shooting pain that went all up my arm and now my thumb is still kind of, kind of numb, but I bought, um, I wanted like the original monster, but they didn't have any, so I got that, I've been obsessed with this, but um, obviously I was eating like super healthy and going to the gym, but I've cancelled my membership because I was only here for like two weeks, and I was like, I'm not gonna, and I was away for three weeks, so I was like, I may as well cancel it before the three weeks, and then just not go when I'm back, and I've that's me and like over Easter when I would eat like a lot I was eating my Easter eggs and now I've just kind of like half given up so I've just accepted the fact I'm going to be a little chubster <laughs> um, in Iron Apple so that should be fun <laughs> but yeah so basically I'm now just gonna like chill I've been watching um, since yesterday where is it? Ooh. no Ooh, I do have my birthday weekend, not the weekend coming, but the weekend after, so I'll be filming that. This is just from last time, which I also filmed. But, ooh, why won't they let me in? Right, but it's just a paper. I've been watching American Pie, like, all of them. <laughs> um, I've watched them before, but, like, once you watch one, you kind of have to just watch all of them. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do chill okay so i'm just about to submit my observing society essay this is such a shit essay like i'm so nervous for the feedback <laughs> like i don't even want to read um what i wrote how do we submit it
Let me just check if it's actually right. Let's just quickly save it. Is it right at the top? Yes. God, imagine if my simil my like similarity, because it comes up with the similarity of it, is like really bad. Imagine if it's like 50% copied. I'll be like, right. Submission title. And it is officially submitted. I know this seems like a like big amount, but it's because I've like direct quoted some things. Um, so obviously it's then going to flag up a similarity, which isn't the same as um, uh, plagiarism. But yeah, so I've just submitted it. Yay! Okay, so it's currently da -da -da, two minutes to. Oh, someone's just started live. Oh, interesting. Two minutes to nine. Um, I'm just doing the last part of my notes for the emotion section. So I'm just going to do this. Um, it'll probably take me like an hour. Oh, I've got a red mark. Oh no, that's makeup actually. <laughs> I thought I had a red mark on my hand. Um, yeah, that'll probably take me about an hour to do. Um, so that'll take me up to like ten. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Okay guys, I've literally had, it's Tuesday, I've literally had the most stressful morning. Um, so we wanted to go for my um, birthday in Birmingham, we wanted to go on the Friday to um, to Tattoo, is that how you pronounce it? Tattoo, Birmingham. And um, then we wanted to go to Dirty Martini for like drinks. So I thought, oh, it's a bit silly booking. Let me just rest you in between my knees. To book two weeks before. Because um, I've never really booked anywhere. And I just looked now. But yeah, so I just looked, booked now. Like, went to book. And it's fully booked. Tattoo is. There's a seat, for, seat 545, which, yeah, it's early. I was like, oh yeah, it'd be fine, but it's only bar seating, which probably means that you can't even eat, which I'm really annoyed about because I really wanted to go there. Um, but I've ended up, like, then we wanted to go to Dirty Martini and all of those tables are booked, which we can go anyway and just, like, stand around like we've done for Ella's um, birthday in London. But I'd rather not, like, I'd rather sit down like we'd done last year. Um because then you actually want to like stay more because you're not just like stood up but I've ended up searching on Instagram um like just Birmingham and seen what comes up and there was a place called Fumo Fumo and it's there's one on its by itself and then there's one in Selfridges and the one in Selfridges looks a lot prettier so I've booked that but I'm going to keep checking tattoo and I've made an inquiry about Birmingham um, about Birmingham, about Dirty Martini because I really hope that we can get a table and there's like a cancellation or something but I just didn't think people would book like so early in advance, if I knew that they would have I would have booked like a month ago because we knew that we would go in here for ages so that's a bit sad but oh well okay so this whole entire vlog I'm just going to look disgusting because there's no way I'm putting on makeup or doing my hair um, I've this morning I done revision, but because I'm like revising one after another, I'm doing food, risk, emotion. I'm like not getting it in my head, like all the information. So tomorrow I'm gonna just do food, and just keep going over food, as long as it takes to go into my head. Then the next day do risk, and the next day emotion, and then obviously on the weekend I can um then do like all of it and hopefully I'll know it like a bit better but so I had lunch and now I'm gonna because I don't want to start another one like go on to food and then I don't know I just didn't want to revise any more even though I should I'm going on to my group report where I have to I'm doing like a comparison between our qualitative and quantitative and I'm doing representative so I bought an energy drink so I'm about to be as fat as a house by summer but yeah so I'm doing this and it's really confusing because there's literally zero literature also I just 
asked where we meant to do a literature review, but then apparently in the lecture he said, don't do a literature review, just put it all throughout the essay. But I'm like, really? Surely we should do a little one? Um, I feel like other people will do do a little one but then if we get marked down for it I'm going to be so pissed off because I was meant to be doing the literature review and now I'm doing the comparisons um but yeah but I just can't find any literature on like representative or on like just uh. but yeah so it's 20 past two now and I'm just gonna do try and get this my section done I'd like to see someone else's section god look at my hair Jesus Oh dear, I just got my feedback for my presentation, um, which was put there, which was like ages ago and I got um, put into this group and they had basically done all of the work so I couldn't do anything. Um, some groups got literally got 80, that's like a really high first, obviously it's like for a presentation. I got 67, which like yeah 67 is good um, for the presentation like, um, but I wanted it to be a first so it would bump my grade up for the exam just because then I wouldn't be so stressed with the exam because now I'm gonna like basically have to get a 2-1 in the exam and is that gonna happen? Absolutely fucking not. Um, I'm just really annoyed that like I've had firsts and 2-1s all throughout the year and now either my learning portfolio which is going to be fucking shit um, and this exam is really going to bump my grade down. Like, I just don't want a 2 2. I haven't had a 2 2 this year and I don't want to start now. No. No. Like, even in observing society and in my learning portfolio, I'm really going to be sad if I get one. Like, obviously, like, for some people that's really good, but I haven't had one this year. So I don't want to, like, go through the whole year getting, like, going from two ones to firsts and then down to a two two that'll just look a bit shit so okay so i just received some watches which i'm really excited about because basically um i used to use the first lashes i bought from tatty lashes were tl3 and i was like obsessed with them but now when i look back at photos they're like really that because I had small eyes I had to like cut most of it off so it was literally just like three little things and then I got um Mitchell um the Mitchell ones but um because again my eyes are small they look really intense on me and like yeah in person they look fine but in flash for photos it kind of makes my eyes look really scary so I bought TL small which I'm hoping are gonna be like a mix between the two because they're not as intense as um the Mitchell ones but they're like still wispy and full, so hopefully. Okay, so it's currently, um, what day is it? Wednesday. It's um, Tate's birthday, who um, I'm moving in with next year. Um, so we're going to go to the cinema room in um, another uni flat. Yes, it has a cinema room and a gym. They're like um, studio ones for like people that want to stay a bit longer, like um, foreign students and stuff. But Sophie, another girl that we're moving in with, she lives there, so I'm just gonna watch films in there. We've, I think we've like rented it out. So I'm just wearing this for pretty little thing. These from Primark Men's, and then just wear my Air Force. Yeah, chilled little outfit. And also, look how short my hair is. This won't look short, but like it was down to here, and I got it cut and. Like, it was literally down to my arse. So I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, so I literally haven't been filming, like, at all this week. It's mainly just because I'm just, like, so into, like, just doing the revision and, like, getting stuff done. Because, like, I only want... I just really want to get it done. Um, I might do, like, a packing up my uni room and stuff like that next week. Um, but, yeah, I'm just so, like, stressed. Um, today is last night we watched Greece and Mamma Mia 2 and then today I've just done some more revision and then I've gone for a um, meeting with my group for our group report which is due on the 21st um, and then I've just got a meal deal so I've got some munch to munch um, chicken club and an energy drink but yes yeah, so I apologise for the lack of filming um, this may go up, this may not 
um, I might combine it with like next week and stuff like that, but next week there will be my birthday vlog. Um, well, it won't go up next week, I'll film it next week. And then um, I also like, during whilst I'm home, because I have like my car and stuff, I want to do like all of the challenge videos, like the ordering what the person in front of me ordered and stuff like that, but obviously I don't have a car at uni, so like I'm limited on what I can kind of do. But yeah. Okay, so I literally just keep doing loads of things to distract myself from revision and like I've had like a rut of not wanting to do makeup for like ages but now I've suddenly started like wanting to okay it looks quite bad because I've literally just randomly done it but um I want to start doing makeup on people again um yeah it looks quite bad actually but it's just brushed um so I'm going to start doing makeup and like getting um like a makeup kit um, made up, like I'm going to start buying loads of different products for different skin types and I'm just going to like practice on like Megan and Ella and then see if anyone wants their makeup done for like free and then obviously once I've like become better and built up a portfolio then I'll start like charging um, but yeah so let me know if you're interested Okay, I've just come back from the shops, um, I've done revision this morning, um, but I went and bought, like, because um, obviously I go home on, Mon on Wednesday, and I have food, like um, fish cakes and stuff, but I have no, like, veg, so I went and bought some frozen veg, um, ooh, went and bought, yeah, some frozen veg, some other stuff, some milk, honey, um, I then also got eggs, so I'm using the front camera. Um, I have eggs and they go out a date in two days. So I bought some bagels and some cream cheese because I like having bagels, cream cheese, eggs. So I'm going to make that. I've also ordered this morning. So for Birmingham for my birthday, I basically you now got everything. I just needed earrings. So I ordered earrings this morning, which like are the ones that loads of people have, like the big gold ones. But because the top of it is so big and obviously my ear is quite small, like this part. I just don't think it would have looked right, so I saw some today in Primark that weren't that star, but they were different, so like, I like the idea of it being different. So I've picked them up and I've just messaged PLT like, please can you cancel my order? And they were like, yeah, because you've just ordered it, like we may be able to. So I'm really hoping they do because they were like £10, otherwise I'm just going to have to like try and sell them and just not wear them. Okay, so I've had a stressful day. <laughs> Basically, when I came back from doing my food shop, I then realised, hmm, I forgot to get my grand a birthday card, so I had to go out again, get a birthday card, get a stamp, then I was like, shit, don't have a pen to write it and post it, so I had to come all the way back, then all the way back out to post it, and then also I was on the phone to my mum, and she's going to on holiday on Sunday, so when I go back on Wednesday, I then don't have the car, because she's taken it to the airport on Thursday, like, from Sunday till Thursday so on Thursday I was going to go to work some random person was out of me um I have to I'm gonna go to work and then my plan was to go into Bristol to a new nail salon as they do like really cool designs um and like my nail salon like I like them for the shape but they don't really do that many cool designs so now I'm gonna have to like then I had work on the evening it was just all a massive stress so I think I'll get the bus after work. But yeah, so I'm just had tea and drinking a iced latte, even though it's in a thingy cup. Um, and oh yeah, I'll show you the earring. These are my little jewelry holders. So this is for silver. This is for like gold, and I only wear gold in the night out. So this is them from Primark. Ooh. Gosh. Yeah, so they're like this. So I thought they were like, because here is like smaller, so it kind of just, and it's kind of like a hoop, but a cooler hoop. I think they look really nice. Okay, so I've literally submitted my um, class essay, which isn't due um, for five more days, but I was like, let's get it out of the way, let's submit. Um, so that's done. My learning portfolio, which is due in four days, I just have to reference the website in which I found the data which I'm asking people how we do that and then I've just finished my section for the group report
so I've literally just got exam and individual report and I'm doing the individual report um when I was back home but I've just figured out I'd only have like three days to do it because of work and also love saves a day and Birmingham so I'm gonna have to like revise every day until like four or five and then do um part of this individual report after dinner so it's like get most of it done and stuff so I'm not stressing whilst I'm home but yeah okay I literally don't know the last time I filmed but it's Sunday and I've literally just submitted um my second to last essay um obviously we've got the group report so so not sure when we're gonna submit that if it's done but my part's basically done on it um anyway we just need to kind of combine everything and make sure it makes sense but I'm just doing my individual report now just gonna do some reading for it that's basically all I'm doing I've just re done revision all day today it's currently 10 past six um it's really sunny Ooh, so I woke up from the sun um yeah it's 10 past six um, of exam day <laughs> I'm so excited to get it out of the way good chat I'm actually going to literally die of hunger. I just have to go get food. I'm honestly, I've gone delirious. Um, but I don't know if someone's going to come out of this. Okay, I'll put you there all the time. Okay, so the exam went um, quite well. They basically asked the same questions as last year. So I have revised. I revised um, emotion and risk for section B and I then revised emotional risk for section B and food for section A. So food was the same question it's been for the past two years on gender, which I didn't want it to be because like it said say two theorists and I only know like one. Like I know other stuff to talk about but just not their actual names because I didn't really revise it that much because I didn't think they'd come up. And then for um, emotion, it was a good question because you could basically talk about everything but then some things I was like oh no I don't need to include that but I literally should have it was just like talk about the sociology of emotion and I just took that as like look at the social cultural stuff and then stuff like that whereas I could have talked about um everything so that's kind of annoying because I could have talked about I could have involved one more theorist, what two more theorists' names, but I didn't, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, it went all right. At the time, I was like, oh, yeah, this is going really well, but now I'm like, mm. when you talk to other people and you're like, shit, could I have included that? Um, but yeah, so I'm just packing up the last section of stuff, so everything's in bags now. Um, I'm just going to get my laptop. And I'm going to meet up with my group, which is only downstairs um, in my study area. And we're going to talk about um, the project, which needs to be in in a week's time. But I've done my part, so it's just like obviously, if they think my part's shit, then they like there's a girl who's editing it. So, but yeah, it's basically last time I'll be in my room, which is really sad. Um, but now that it's like all undecorated and stuff like I don't feel sad because it's kind of just like a room now and I kind of just want to get all my stuff out go home and literally today and tomorrow like tonight and tomorrow when I get home or well, maybe not tonight I'm gonna unpack everything tonight and then tomorrow I'm gonna um do my as much work as I can on my um individual report so that I don't have much to do because it's due in two weeks and then obviously it's Birmingham on the weekend. So yeah. Okay, so I got back um, last night. I have packed everything away. As you can kind of see, these are my clothes for today. But yeah, so I thought this I'd end this video now. Um, there will be a vlog coming soon of my birthday weekend. And my birthday as well, like all of it included. So that should be up like mid-week next week, I think. Depends when this goes up. But yeah, thank you for watching.